In this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create a text animation with trim pass. So click on new composition and give our project a name. Choose the standard settings, duration by 5 seconds, hit OK. And I have this video that I have downloaded before and I'll put the link for it in the description. You could use your own videos as well. And we will start by dragging this into our project and type in our text or so select text tool type in our text and for this text we will be using the font called Edo Regular and we will keep it at white we will resize it change it we will make it bigger and we will increase the tracking for it this will make it easier for us to animate so next we are going to align it into center and now we are going to redraw this shape using pen tool redraw this text so make sure to not have any of this layers selected and select pen tool so make sure to set fill to none and give our stroke a red color or something and i'll keep that four for now and start drawing this like we are drawing in real life so don't worry if you make any mistake you could hit ctrl z and draw this shape from the beginning if you make any mistake just press ctrl z and draw this shape so click and drag click and drag I'll hit ctrl z on this one So we have finished drawing our text and now we are going to increase the stroke width and make sure to cover all those white areas. So we will keep it at like 45 and for these areas that are not covered we will try to fix those by going over to these points and moving them. So they are covered. There is another. We will move this points. and so far so good so now we want to animate this and put this shape layer down over here below waves and set the track mat for it to alpha mat and if you don't see this option then just click over here to toggle switches and set the track mat to alpha mat and now we are going to change the stroke color to white by clicking over here to shape layer change the stroke color to white and by opening the settings over here click on add and add the trim pass effect select trim pass open the settings and we want to animate the end point for this so set it to zero for now set a keyframe on it at the beginning and go to four seconds 
and make it 100. So let's see what our animation looks like. So we will try to fix those. I see a trouble over here, so click on shape layer 1 and try to fix those by how they are starting. So here it starts from over here and I don't like it, so move this over here. So I don't like it over here at the S and we will try to fix it as well. So move this up and let's see. Yeah, I think it's good so far. So let's have a look at our animation again. I just saw a problem over here at W. So we will try to fix this as well. Okay, I think it is good now, but yeah, you get the idea and I'll hit U to view the keyframes and I'll, s I'll set this end keyframe, I'll select this and press F9 to make it smoother so it's, it becomes smoother in the end, it slows down, so let's see how it looks like. You can see the difference in the end that it slows down. And that will be it for our tutorial. Alright, I hope this wasn't too complicated for you guys to understand. If you enjoyed it then subscribe to my channel, give it a like as well and I'll see you on the next video.